Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. I want to do two quick videos for you on um, baseboard heating in the cabin. And um, I know I've done baseboard heating in the past, but I haven't done a current video. I'm going to do two videos. One is going to be more about uh, the calculations, and the other one is going to be the practicality. Um, again, this is done for uh, other electricians that are master electricians and journeymen and RWs. Uh, not meant for homeowners to try to do this. If you're a homeowner and you're trying to mess with 240 on your house and you don't know what you're doing, do not do this. Um, anyways, so this is a cabin that's existed for about 80 years. And uh, what we did is we wired up circuits um, 18 and 20 and 14 and 16, all 12 gauge wire. If you noticed, I have a 15 amp breaker and a 20 amp breaker. Uh, this circuit's only drawn about 12.7 amps and this circuit's drawn um, I think right around 14.6. So this is 80% of the value and this is about 70% uh, of the value of that circuit. Um, so what I wanted to show you what I did here is I was figuring out my calculation. My power comes into this breaker, which does have a clip on the inside for it to hold it as a retainer. It's 100 amp. We have number two copper. Okay. Um, 243 volts with no load. Nothing on, just the breaker. As soon as I turn on everything but the range at 50 amps, um, I drop to 218 volts. I get 58 amps on my B phase and 61 amps on my A phase. And then as soon as I turn on the range and add 37 more amps, I end up with 205 volts with everything on with the range, 88 amps on A phase and 78 amps on B phase. Now it was having almost 20 amps difference, so I moved one breaker down and it shifted another nine, eight amps. So it allowed me to have a difference, only 10 amps difference on the two phases versus being almost 20 on the neutral, okay? Um, the thing I wanted to show you here is what I added. Uh, the calculation is we did 15 foot of baseboard heating on circuits 18 and 20, and I did that in purple. And then on green, uh, circuits 14 and 16, we did um, 17 foot of baseboard heat. Now the interesting thing about it is if you do it at 15 watts a foot, you're gonna get um, roughly 3750 but it's really not 250 watts a foot it's closer to 200 watts a foot at 15 feet is going to be roughly about 3000 now this heater may itself be two foot long or three or five foot but it doesn't mean the element goes all the way across it when you order them they measure it edge to edge so you can either do it by a uh, 80 20 percent value um, or you can also do it just by saying okay I have 12 feet of baseboard heat at 250 watts or you could just say 15 foot at 200 watts either way this is about 3000 watts if you do your calculation using the method of around 230 volts for your nominal voltage and you're going to get 12.7 amps is what my meter is actually drawing on this uh, my amp clamp okay you got 12.7 amps this guy i'm running almost 14 okay same thing with him you got 17 foot of baseboard heat because that's what I ordered at roughly 200 watts will give you 14.6 at 230 volts. Um, or you can just say 17 feet at 200 watts or take off 3 feet, be 14 feet at 250 watts. Again, that's about an 80-20% value when you're figuring your calculation here. Uh, rule of thumb, I don't go over 18 feet. Um, usually try to stay around 17, 16, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, and you will be off on even versus odd numbers based on three foot baseboard heaters versus all your even numbers. Uh, the other thing I want to show you real quick about this panel um, is that I went ahead and I don't do this on every job, but because we wanted to know what our true calculation was, um, our bath lights, you know, I got a star on your kitchen plugs and your bath plugs because those can draw 1500 watts to 1800 watts real easily based on a counter microwave, a, a Vitamix. Um, maybe a waffle maker or a toaster over here you could have curling irons going or hair dryer going um, so some of this fluctuates but we have 12.7 amps here 14.7 17 amps on the hot water heater which 17 amps at roughly 230 volts with pressure uh, i don't have a calculator on me but that's going to be somewhere probably in the vicinity of a 4kw is my thought um, other than that, uh, this breaker was buzzing right at around 88 amps. Now, did it pop? No. I did take my thermal gun. I put it on here. I had all my base heaters going. I had my hot water heater. I had my microwave, refrigerator, dishwasher going. So I opened my refrigerator door. Um, made sure my microwave was going for two minutes with a cold cup of ice water. Last thing I turn on, put my dishwasher on. If I have a disposal, I'll turn that on last with the microwave as well. 
And then the range is the other thing I pop on, make sure there's nothing in the oven, nothing on top of the oven, no kids are around. And I pop on that range, which gives me my extra 37 amps. This guy, even with pressure for 20, 25 minutes, I had only 76 degrees going on him at Fahrenheit. Him, I had 56, these guys I had at 72, but these guys have been running for a long time today. Um, other than that, so I wanted to show you that you have to be roughly around an 80% value on your main breaker. You should be, but I'm at 88 if all of this was running. That means that all the guests are here, doors are left wide open, heaters are going, range is cooking, some food. Um, you've got your dishwasher, people are doing dishes, the microwave's on, uh, all the lights are on in the house. Someone's getting ready to get out of here and they got the hairdryer going. So, I mean, that's the worst atmosphere that you could create right now. Um, being careless with your energy at 88 amps. Bottom line, that's still about a 15% value of the main breaker. I wouldn't go above it. They did ask me in the future if they could put a hot tub on this. Definitely not. You really have a choice of baseboard heating or a hot tub. Yeah, hot tubs only kick on in the winter when you're here, but this cabin is only three seasons, not four. Uh, their pipes have to be turned off in the winter, so really it doesn't matter But if you had a hot tub running and the base heater was on and people left the doors open I still wouldn't take the chance because a hot tub can definitely draw especially the cabin this size was five bedrooms um, You're gonna draw a lot of people here and do an eight nine amp or eight nine person tub And that's 50 amps and with the heaters and the jets going you're gonna draw 43 amps on that You're gonna pop your breaker pretty quick if somebody was being really careless so at that point we really have to upsize our service um yeah this is, you can't just upsize your breaker to 125 150 amp you can't do higher than 125 amp most likely with most stab breakers uh, maybe 150 on some brands but again you would have to upgrade the meter to a bigger bypass lever meter to bring in some uh, uh four rods aluminum 200 amp on the main breaker and this whole guts of the panel has to change out so um, in a way, this is kind of maxing out what they have. They have no more breaker space. This doesn't have any, what I call the molar teeth on the side. So you can actually put in little tiny um, twin breakers. So this, this panel is actually maxed out as it is. And um, other than that, guys, um, I will show you my next video of how I did a practicality of it. Thanks for joining us.